Nine children are sick and one adult after an E. coli outbreak at Lake Wildwood in Nevada County. All of the children apparently swam at the lake's main beach at Commodore Park, which was shut down last month. And today, all public beaches were closed after testing showed two more beaches also had high levels of fecal bacteria. New tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw joins us live at Sutter Hospital in Sacramento with one family story. Jen? Yeah, Tony and Adrian, health officials don't know what's causing this bacteria, but it's a freak situation. These families went to the beach thinking they'd have a good time, and now many of these children are hospitalized and their parents left hopeless. Signs now posted at all five beaches in the Lake Wildwood community after an outbreak of E. coli. Nine young children are sick, six hospitalized, and three took a turn for the worse. He's getting worse and worse. Solma's son, Darian, is not even two years old. They were vacationing at the lake from Canada when the boy was infected with E. coli. Or if he will be better, if he, will, he won't, what should I do, what kind of decisions I should make. It's really difficult. Darian is one of three hospitalized children who have developed hemolytic uremic syndrome, HUS, which is potentially a life-threatening condition with anemia and kidney complications. It's extremely scary. My son has been a very healthy, happy kid. I have never had any, any, any problem with him. She says the owners of the lake should have done something sooner. People who should have been taking care of that lake, they didn't do their job. Salma says she's at a loss of what to do and hopes her son can fight through this. I have asked every single family, friends, anyone I know to pray for him. Yeah, I know that that's the only thing we could do. That's prayer is the best thing. And health officials will... And health officials will continue to investigate to figure out what exactly is causing that bacteria. Part of it is adding a dye to the lake that will last about 24 hours to see if there's any leaks or sewage coming up into that lake. But obviously a very sad situation here tonight. Yeah, so gut-wrenching. And her pleas for prayers will not go unanswered tonight, that's for sure. Yeah. Jen, thank you.